Praise the Lord. Good evening to you, wherever that you are, that you're listening to me. This is Voice of Hope with your very host, Pastor Samuel Dako. I just want to ask you for one favor. Keep sharing the video on Facebook. Magic Touch Radio and you can find my name, Kabnanda Ako. Keep sharing. We are live on Magic Touch Radio. You can get us on TuneIn Radio. You can download Magic Touch app on your Android phone or iOS. And you can listen to us live. I thank God because you are alive and I'm alive. All of us, we are doing well. God bless you for listening. God bless you for tuning in. How are you doing tonight? How is the family doing? Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Erasi, I wanna bought certain years I see. Never when you put that was a so. How did the week go for you? That's the way you see for our razor. A brummo and make a tea. The Yamana, when we are Jersey. Keep sharing the video. I just want you to invite a friend to also invite a friend. I want to read your comments tonight on Facebook Live. You can also join us wherever that you are. I bring you greetings from the throne of God. 
You are blessed and highly favored. Your life will never be the same. We spend time with God. And a time well spent will yield the right results. Understand that tonight as we have come here. God is about to do something extraordinary.
That is Pastor Joby Chem. A song titled Miss Rewo. If you have your Bible, let's turn to the book of Psalm, chapter number 147. Psalm, chapter number 147. It's good to connect with God. Connect with His Word. Connect with His presence. Hallelujah, somebody. Psalm chapter number 147. Yes, 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 yes. Young 
your Bibles with you. Let's turn to the book of Psalm chapter number 147. Psalm 147. Let's hear the word of God. Psalm 147. Praise the Lord. How good it is to sing praises to our God. How pleasant and fitting to praise him. The Lord builds up Jerusalem. He gathers the exiles of Israel. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. He determines the number of the stars and calls them each by name. Great is our Lord and mighty in power. His understanding has no limit. The Lord sustains the humble but casts the wicked to the ground. Sing to the Lord with grateful praise. Make music to our God. On the harp. He covers the sky with clouds, he supplies the earth with rain and makes grass grow on the hills. He provides food for the cattle and for the young ravens when they call. His pleasure is not in the strength of the horse, nor his delight in the legs of the warrior. The Lord delights in those who fear him, who put their hope in his unfailing love. Extort the Lord, Jerusalem. Praise your God, Zion. He strengthens the bars of your gates and blesses your people within you. He grants peace to your bodies and satisfies you with the finest of wheat. He sends his command to the earth. His word runs swiftly. He spreads the snow like wool and scatters the frost like ashes. He hurls down his hail like pebbles. Who can withstand his icy blast? He sends his word and melts them. He stirs up his breezes and the waters flow. He has revealed his word to Jacob, his laws and decrees to Israel. He has done this for no other nation. They do not know his laws. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. How good it is to sing the praise of the Lord. How pleasant and fitting to praise Him. Do you believe that He heals the brokenhearted? And bends up their wound. David said that great is our Lord and mighty in power. Great is our God and mighty in power. His understanding has no limit. I'm not 
his understanding has no limit. Great is our Lord, mighty in power. His understanding no man can fathom. Great is the Lord God Almighty. If we should understand God, then God is not God. That is the reason why David said that his understanding has no limit. His understanding does not have boundaries. His understanding is not restricted to certain geographical area. His understanding is not limited to certain group of people. So understand that at every corner that you find yourself, God is great and mighty in power. Understand that any circumstance that you find yourself in, God is mighty in power. He is great. He is a great God. He says that the law sustains the humble. But for the wicked, he will throw into the ground. Praising God is a sign of humility. Can I take it again? Praising God is a sign of humility. The moment you praise God, it is a sign that it is not by your own strength or by your own intellect that you have been able to done or you have been able to achieve or you have even you have been able to come to where you are by your own by your own will you praise god because you know exactly what the lord has done for you so he says that he knows the number of stars and he has called each of them by names how many of us can count the stars? So it means that God knows you and God knows me. That's what David said, that he is great and mighty in power. Tonight we want to worship, we want to praise, we want to thank this great and mighty God. We want to go before him by saying, Father, we give you praise. Because your understanding has no what? Limit. If God's understanding has no limit, it means that your situation, God can enter into that situation. It means that God can enter into that home. But all that I'm asking you tonight is to avail yourself in a time of praise. And as you begin to praise God, as you begin to thank him, as you begin to say, Father, I give you praise for how far you have brought me. He will be great. And he will show his mighty power. At that corner that you find yourself that there is no light. He will throw a light in that corner and he will bring you out. If you believe, I'll shout a bigger amen. Let's go before the Lord. Great is the Lord, mighty in power. Praise the Lord. How pleasant and fitting are the praise of God. We just want to thank God tonight. We just want to bless God tonight. Can you invite somebody to join us? Tell a friend that we just started Voice of Hope on Magic Touch Radio. Let's get connected. I don't want you alone to take everything. I want somebody that is closer to you to be to be a blessing. The book of Psalm chapter number 147. When you read the verse 7, he said that sing to the Lord with a grateful praise. It means that say I'm praises that are ungrateful. The praise that is grateful is coming out of your heart. The one that is ungrateful is what everybody is doing and you too have been compelled to do it. But tonight I'm talking about the grateful praise. The praise that comes out of your heart. The praise that comes out from your innermost being. 
the praise that you feel like you are you are praising God out of your lungs. The praise that you, you feel like you are praising God because if it had not been him, you were nobody. It is not because I'm saying praise him that you praise him. But you have to understand that his understanding has no limit. Can we go before the Lord? Can we begin to thank God? Thank God for our family. Thank God for the nation. Thank God for the church. Thank God for your loved one. Thank God for your life. Thank God for your spouse. Thank God for your children. Thank God for any name that comes into mind. The Lord has been good. We set out with you, C3575, I20, I30, 35, 688, all the highways that you can name it. But yes, still, God still keeps us, sustain us. He has brought us this far. Ebenezer, this is how far you have brought us. Why don't you lift up your voice, Rana? Let's begin to bless the name of the Lord. Father, we bless your name. We bless your name tonight. We give you praise. We bless your name tonight. We give you praise. We bless your name tonight. We give you praise. We bless your name tonight. We give you praise. We bless your name tonight. We give you praise, Lord. 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 We thank you tonight. We lift up our hands. We lift up our voice. And all that we are saying, Father, forever, oh God, thy word is saved. Set up. We will praise you because you are great, O oh God. We praise you because you are mighty in power. We praise you because you have sustained us and you have brought us this far. It is not the doings of our own strength. It is not how skillful we are. It is not how mighty we are. It is not how influential we are. It is not anything that we have in life. It is all about you, Jesus. It is all about you, Jesus. Jesus, you are the reason why we move, how why we live. You are the reason why we are alive. You are the reason why we can speak, we can walk, we can we can do everything that we can do. Therefore, tonight, all that we are saying, Father, we praise your name. All that we are saying, Father, we praise your name. We love you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We glorify your name for your spirit that has kept us alive life for your grace that has protected us for your kindness your love your mercy oh god we give you all the praise we give you all the praise we honor you jesus we love you for your goodness oh god we bless you tonight all that we are saying father may your name be praised may your name be glorified may your name be lifted we stand in the authority of your word and we will agree with david tonight and we will say that Jesus, you have been faithful. You have been faithful to all of us. You have been faithful to the church. You have been faithful to our family. You have been faithful to our children. You have been faithful to our husbands. You have been faithful to our wives. You have been faithful to our loved ones, our brothers and our sisters, our aunties, our cousins, our nephews, our nieces. We give you praise of God. We honor your name we bless your name Jesus you reign 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 father we bless you tonight we give you all the praise we give you all the praise we give you all the praise tonight oh God we give you all the praise tonight oh God we give you all the praise tonight oh God we give you all the praise tonight oh God we say Father, tonight may your name be lifted. We say, Father, tonight may your name be exalted. We say, Father, tonight may your name be glorified. We say, Father, may your name alone be exalted. We glorify your name. We say, Jesus, you reign and may your name be praised. May your name be glorified. We thank you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. 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 Tonight, who is like unto you? Tonight, who is like unto you? Great is the Lord, mighty in power. His, your understanding has 
has no limit. Your understanding has no limit. Your understanding has no limit. Father, you know us. If you want a clot of blood in our mother's womb, right from infancy, oh God, you have provided for us. Right from infancy, you have shielded us. Right from infancy, you have kept us alive. Right from infancy, you have you have been there for us. You have stood by us. You have called us. You have you have honored us. You have you have you have you have shown us your grace, your love, your care. All that we are saying, Jesus, we we bless your name. We honor your name. We love you, Lord. We love you. 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 We will sing of your praise in the morning. We will sing of your praise in the afternoon. We will sing of your praise in the evening. Father, I thank you for my listeners. I thank you for their lives, those that are watching me right now. Wherever that they are, I give you praise to God for us to see the beauty of this day, the beauty of this week, the beauty of this month, the beauty of this year. Father, we are alive for the blood is flowing through us. We can walk, we can stand, we can speak. We thank you for your provision. I thank you for those that are hearing me everywhere in Canada, in London, in Europe, in Ghana, in America, in Dallas, Austin, wherever. Father, I give you praise for their lives. I bless you, oh God. I thank you for the sake. I thank you because you have already healed. I thank you because you have already healed. I thank you though for the one that is just. I know. I thank you because you have already lifted up the person. The one that is that 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 that, that, that seems the hope is gone. I thank you because you have brought back hope. The one that is rejected, Father, you have brought the person closer. The one that is shame, Father, you have you have glorified the person. All that I'm saying tonight, Ebenezer God, we thank you for how far you have brought us. Ebenezer God, I thank you for how far you have brought us. Ebenezer God, I thank you for how far you have brought us. Ebenezer God, I thank you for how far you have brought us. Ebenezer God, I thank you for how far you have brought us. Ebenezer God, I thank you for how far you have brought us. Ebenezer God, I thank you for how far you have brought us. Who is like unto you, Jesus? We give you praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah in the name of Jesus. We give you praise. No matter the storms we go through, choose to rejoice and be glad. Bible said that he covers the skies with clouds. Come in your way. He supplies the earth with rain. May God supply wherever that you are with rain. Any place that is dry, I pray tonight that may God pour his rain on that land. And makes grass grow on the hills. He provides food for the cattle. If God is able to provide for the cattle, it means that God will be able to provide for you. And he will always provide for you. The verse 12. He said that extol the Lord Jerusalem. Praise your God, Zion. Double provided reference. Put your name there. Put your family there. Exalt the name of the Lord. It means that you go down so that God will be glorified. It means that you surrender everything so that God will be lifted high. Tonight. I said tonight. Father, we thank you. I want us to lift up a prayer tonight. He said that he strengthens the bars of your gate and blesses your people within you. And he grant peace to your bodies. Say, Lord, grant peace on my bodies. That is the prayer. 
David said that God grant peace in the borders. The borders of your marriage, you are praying that God grant peace. The borders of your finances, you are praying that God grant peace. The borders of your health, you are praying that God grant peace. Your community, you are praying that God grant peace. He grant peace to your borders. Wow. Say tonight, 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 by prayer, by prayer. You see, your borders becomes a shield of protection. So if the enemy gets into your body, he scatters. Bring confusion. Takes away the joy. Takes away the peace. So when we talk, when David was talking about God granting peace within the borders of Jerusalem, understand that these people have been into exile. Understand that these people have been in situations that 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 that, that is very very dissatisfying. Dissatisfying. These people have been in situations that they have felt oppressing and suppressing and all the things you can think of. They have been stressed. So this time round, he is talking about the peace within their borders, so that whatever that they do will be able to go on well. Somebody listening to me right now, you need the peace of God on your marriage. There are so many voices in your marriage, so you need God to surround the borders of your marriage with his peace someone listening to me right now your mind is being clouded with so many things and you need the peace of God to be free from anything that is going through your mind I'm heating up so he said that God grants peace. I pray tonight that God will grant peace on your bodies. That no evil scepter will be able to have access on your bodies. Your Amen. gate will be secured. Amen. Your boundaries will be secured. Amen. Say tonight, tonight by, prayer, by prayer as I lift up my I voice. Lift up my voice. And Insecurity. In, in insecurity in the name of jesus, name of jesus as I pray, I pray god god let my body my body be secure be secure my work my work be secure be secure my marriage my marriage be secure be secure my children my children be secure be secure lord lord grant peace, grant peace on my bodies my body in my community in my community in my school in my school wherever wherever I find myself, find myself i carry your presence, carry your presence. i carry your, power. carry your power in the name of jesus, name of jesus. that let my bodies be, be full of your peace, of your peace. That, no that no one with no one evil, intention evil intention will get inside, will get inside. to take away, take away the joy to take away, take away the, peace. the peace to take away, take away the, strength. the strength as i lift up my voice, up my voice. and i Pray. Pray. Let, the let the bodies of our nation, our nation. let the bodies of, of our church, let the bodies of our family, let the bodies of our schools, let the bodies of our families, let the bodies of our workplaces, let the bodies of our children, let the bodies of our finances by prayer be secured. I grant peace. Peace. by the fire, fire of the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost. and as I lift up my voice, my voice. and I lift up prayer, lift up prayer. Oh, God. oh God, grant peace, grant peace. on my bodies, grant peace, grant peace. on my bodies, grant peace, grant peace. on my bodies, grant, 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 grant peace, on my bodies, and the hole, and the access, the devil uses to come in, to scatter.
scatter, to scatter, to destroy, to, destroy, to steal, to steal by, prayer, by prayer. Tonight, tonight it is seed. Tonight, tonight it is seed. Tonight, tonight it is seed. And the access the devil uses the devil use to have access, have access unto my health, my health by, prayer, by prayer. As I lift up my, voice, up my voice and I cry unto, I the, cry Lord, unto the Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord bring help, bring help from above. Wow. When my heart uh, is overwhelmed, overwhelmed lead me, me to the rock, the rock that is higher, that is higher than, I, than I, I. That is higher than I. I. When my mind, my mind when, my eyes, when my eyes, when my body, when my body has failed, has failed Lord, Lord, I lift up my eyes, my eyes. I lift up my voice. My voice. When my heart, when my heart is, overwhelmed, is overwhelmed, oh God, oh God let my body be secured. Let peace, Let peace rain, rain like a river. Like a river. Let your joy, joy rain, rain like a river, like a river. By, prayer. by prayer. Tonight, tonight we speak we and speak. we declare we that our bodies our will be secured. That our bodies, our bodies there will be peace, will be peace as, we as we step out, as we come in. We come in. Let our bodies, Let our bodies be, saved. be saved. Let our bodies, Let our, bodies our bodies, our bodies. Uh, in, a place, uh, in a place that we will step uh, we will by prayer, prayer. we we'll decree, decree tonight, tonight that we will not fall, will not fall victims, uh, victims of their devices. Their device. uh, we will not fall, will not fall victims, uh, victims of their arrows. Uh, arrows. Our, children, uh, our children will not be, will not be victims, uh, victims of, any of any calamity, of any incidents. Uh, incident. by, prayer, by prayer, tonight, tonight uh, we speak, uh, we speak uh, into the Atmosphere. The atmosphere we speak, we speak uh, into the house, into the house. Uh, we speak, we uh, speak. Into, the home, uh, into the home we speak, we speak. Uh, into the uh, marriage, uh, marriage. By, prayer. by prayer oh god, oh god. Uh, grant peace grant peace, grant peace, grant peace. Uh, on our bodies uh, lift up prayer rabba zuri abaraba sebadia tanaba rosi bia baraba ye badia tanaba rosa badia tanaba yande abadia tanaba rosi bia badia tanaba Sepadia Tanana Baros, Hibia Badiate, Yepa, Sepadia Tanana Baros, Hibia Ba, Sepadia Tanana Baros, Hibia Badiate, Amadia Tanana Baros, Sabalaba Toya Balaba, Sepadia Tanana Baros, Sabadiata, Sepadia Tanana Baros, Sabadiata, Hey, Padia, 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 Sebros Hirabato Rabakaya Bata, Sepadia Tanana Baros, Sabadia Tanana Baya, Sekada Baros, Hibia Badia. One peace, one peace on our bodies, oh God. Ye body at Tadaba, let us experience your peace. Lebro Sabaros, Hibria Badiate, Hamalo Sabaria Tadabaya, Sebaro Sibria Badia Tadabaya, Sebarabacora Bato Sibriaba, Emma Andebe Sabaria Tadaba, Hamadia Torebe Rabaco Sabaria, Yepa Recabago Sabatia Tadaba, Haba Lepa Haba Lepa Halaba. Ye kabadia tadara baros sibriya ba, somebody lift up prayer and deliver sabaros nibriya ba, sibriya ba lo sabadia ta, ye badia tadara baros sabah, ye badia tadara baros sabada ba, ye badia tadara baros sabah, he ma andere be zura ba kata ya, ye kabada ba, le badia thore be kara ba, sibriya ra ba kora ba zundiya ba, kabadia thore be zura ba kaya, sabadia. Rabakosaba, Yepadia Tadabaya, Sibria Corabato Ziaba, Amadia Tedebe Rabakosaba, Yepadia Tadabaya, Sibria Corabato Ziaba, Amadia Tedebe Rabakosaba, Amadia Padia 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 Padia, Sibria Corabato Zapa, Padia Tadaba, Sibria Pacorabato Yaba, Apadia Tadabaya, Nedebe Tedia Nedebiaba, Sibria Maros, Nedia Badiata, Lebadu Sabadia Tadabaya, Sibalu Sabadia Tadaba, Lika. Tadabaros nibriya badiata, sebaros sabadiya tadaba, ye badiya tadaba ros nibriya ba, ye badiya tadaba ros sabada ba, se kabadiya tadebe ros sabadiya ta, ho pa ya ta ya pa, se badiya tadaba ya, ha badiya tadebe ya ba, se badiya tadaba ros nibriya, 
Makuli ya Ndoroko Zibri ya Bari ya Terebe ya Bab Zibri ya Tadabari ya Nerebe ya Bab The church in your hands so called up Let peace dwell among us Habadi ya Boro Sabaka ya Te Our families in your hands so God Habadi ya Terebe Rosaba Yebari ya Tadaba Ros Nibri ya Bab Zibri ya Tadaba Rosaba ya Hey Bari ya Tadaba Ros Zibri ya Bab Zibri ya Tadaba Rosaba ya Hey Maria Terebe Rosaba ya Tadaba Lekaba Ros Zibri ya Bab ya Tadaba Zibri Kala Rosabadi atadaba lebarosabadi atadaba lus ibri abadi atadaba rosabadi ba yebadi atadaba rosibri ba lebarosabadi atadaba ya sebarosabadi atadaba ya yebadi atadaba rosibri ba yebari atadaba yekabara ba sibri ba lekarab rosibri ba lekarab lus sibri ba di atadaba lekabarosabadi atadaba Le cabros libri a bani a tadaba, le cabros libri a baros libri a ba, le cabros libri a ba. Say in the name of Jesus. Whilst we were praying, I sense this so strongly within my spirit. Somebody is sick, but you don't believe that God will heal you. I want to read a scripture and we will stand on it and we will pray. If you know anybody that is sick, lay hands on that person right now. If you know anybody that is sick, all kinds of sicknesses, the blind will see. I said the blind will see. The deaf and dumb will speak and they will hear. Let there be a performance. In the heat of the day, there shall be a performance. The book of Mark, the book of Mark chapter number nine. The book of Mark chapter number nine. Connect with somebody that is sick right now. Touch the person. Wherever that the pain is. If it is up, if it is up, any kind, any kind of sickness. Rabaku Saba. In the name of Jesus, Mark chapter number nine. My God, Rossi Briabato Saba. Can you read from the verse 14? Let's read from the verse 14. For you to understand and follow it carefully. When we finish, we will lift up a fire of prayer. That the anointing that is in his word to heal will enter into your body. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Go ahead. When they came to the other disciples, they saw a large crowd around them and the teachers of the law arguing with them. Mm. As soon as all the people saw Jesus, they were overwhelmed with wonder and ran to greet him. Jesus. What are you arguing with them about? He asked. A man in the crowd answered, Teacher, I brought you my son who is possessed by a spirit that has robbed him of speech. Whenever it seizes him, it throws him to the ground. He foams at the mouth, gnashes his teeth, and becomes rigid. I ask your disciples to drive out the spirit, but they could not. You unbelieving generation, Jesus replied, How long shall I stay with you? How long shall I put up with you? Bring the boy to me. So they brought him. When the spirit saw Jesus, it immediately threw the boy into a convulsion. He fell to the ground and rolled around, foaming at the mouth. Jesus. Jesus asked the boy's father, How long has he been like this? Mm. From childhood, he answered. Hold on then. He said that how long has this been? Hey. Said that from childhood, some, some sicknesses have become chronic. Mm. So you are managing it. It mm. is demonic. It is not of mm. God. Mm. So you go to the hospital and they just give you medication to manage it. Tonight receive your healing. In the name of Jesus. He said that In immediately mm. the boy saw Jesus, the spirit that is not of God, realized that this one power has met what power. This one, the super tonight, any kind of sickness, of of we release the anointing yes, of healing yes, from the yes, studios yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. into yes, your Lord. house right now. In the name of Jesus. If you are in the, the hospital, I release the prayer of healing upon your life. Yes, 
go ahead, let's read. Mm. Well, I want my point From to his coming. From he answered, mm. it has often thrown him into fire Jesus. or water to kill him. My God. But if you can do anything, take pity on us Jesus. and help us. If you can, said Jesus, everything is possible for one who believes. He said that everything is possible for anybody that believes. Yes. Say to yourself that it is possible. It is possible. Every he said it mm. is possible for them that believe. That believe. Tonight I don't know your unbelief, yes. but I pray in the name of Jesus that you believe Jesus. that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, mm. today, and forevermore. Mm. So if yesterday he heals mm. the woman with the issue of the blood, mm. if yesterday Jesus mm. raised up the dead, mm. then your situation is something little in his eyes. Mm. Therefore, if you believe mm. it is possible, mm. if you believe your healing is possible, mm. if you believe mm. God will touch you, mm. if you believe God mm. will do something. He said that if you be everything, he didn't say that some things, mm. everything work together for good. Mm. For them that love the Lord and are called, mm. tonight I speak prophetically over your life. Mm. I don't know the sickness that has been with you from childhood. Mm. I don't know the sickness that you are battling with. Mm. There are some sicknesses mm. when you are approaching your miracle, when, you, when, when there is an occasion, you yourself, you are being caged. You cannot go into into where people have gathered. By prayer tonight, I release you from any fire. Yes, Lord. By prayer tonight, yes, Lord. I release you from every bondage of chronic disease. Let cancer bow. I say, let cancer bow. I say, let cancer bow. In the name of Jesus, let leukemia run away. Let tumor run away. By prayer tonight. Lord, I speak yes, in the yes, name Lord. of Jesus. Mm. It is possible it is. when you believe. Yes. Jump to the last verse. The last, the last verse. That is the verse 29. The verse 29. He replied, This kind can come out only by prayer. So the disciples came to Jesus. That why is it that we couldn't do this? And Jesus said, This thing can only take place through prayer. Other versions say that through prayer and fasting. What are you talking about? You see, the, the issue is still there because you are you are working in unbelief. That sickness has stayed with you for a long time. Tonight, say to that thing that enough is enough. Yeah, I leave you here. You are no longer part of my life. No oh, yeah, lift up prayer. Say it is possible. Let's make a declaration. Let's make a declaration. Say tonight, by prayer, by prayer I, decree I decree that any chronic ailment that has stayed with me, stayed with me from childhood, childhood tonight, tonight, it is over. It is over. Tonight, tonight, let it leave my body leave my body in the name of jesus anybody under the son of my voice uh, that you hear me right now uh, you are being made whole oh yeah lift up prayer lift up prayer lift up prayer Yeah, <laughs> 
the fire of God, Robo Sabaraba. It is possible, Rabba Kosaba. We speak right now, Robo Sabaraba. Sicknesses are running away. Demons are running away. Bro Sibia Bayan Dibe. La Bro Sibia Badia Tanabaya. Sibadia Tonebe Rosabadia Tanaba. Abadia Tenebe Rosibia Bayan Dibe. Abadia Tanaba Rosabadiaba. Yebadia Tanabe Rabo Sibia. Yebadia Tanaba Rosibia Badia Tenebaba. Leparo Sabadia Tenebe Rabba Zuriaba. Paria Tanabaria Nebe Abaraba. Sibadia Tanaba Ron de Lebo Sirba. Ye Kabaraba, Lika Rabasundia Rabaski Rabata, Ye Badia Tanaba Rosibia Badia Tenebe, Abalus Kibria Badia Tanabaya, Separos Kibria Badia Tanabaya, Liparos Kibria Badia Tanaba Roskibriaba, Morobo Sibria Badia Tenebe, Separi Kabalus Sabadiata, Hai Parosiria Rabarosibriaba, La Sipi Hibako Lia Tanaba, Liparos Kibria Badia Tanaba, Likaraba Lusibia Badia it is possible, oh God. We believe it is possible. The cancer is running away. The diabetes is running away. The leukemia is running away. The tumor is running away. The fibroid is running away. Every ailment, man, durable zaba in our bodies. Baya te rabakosa, ye parabato zabadia. Hey, baya te rebe rabakosiata, baya te rebe rabakonsundiata. Lebro zabadia tarabaros nibriaba, lebadu zabadia tarabaros nibriaba, lebadu zabadia tarabaros zaba. Zekada balu zibriya baya taraba, ye baya tarabaros zibriaba, lebadu zabadia. Tadabaya, Sibria Karabaros, Nibria Badiate, Aba Laba, Liba Casabadiata, Baria Tadabaros, Sibria Badiata, Lake Abadu, Sibria Barosata. My God, my God. He says that this thing can happen only prayer and fasting. What, what, what are you talking about? Somebody listening to me right now. You are in a state of unbelief. But I'm telling you. That God is bringing you to a place of possibilities. To a place that you will, you will realize that this one it is not by your own strength. Yes, yes. Understand that the woman with the issue of the blood, mm. Bible said that he has he has he has gone to every physician that she will be able to have access to. Yes. But yes, till the issue was there, yes. but heard that Jesus was passing by. Yes. Tonight, Jesus is knocking at your door. Yes, Lord. I said, believe. Tonight, if you will believe, yes. it is going to be possible. I believe. I believe. God will heal you in the name of, Jesus. of every infirmity. In, in his stripes, he bore our pain, he bore our sickness. Yes. Understand that as we are celebrating Easter, sickness will run away because Jesus. healing is his privilege for every child of God that have accepted Jesus as the Lord and personal Savior. Therefore receive the healing that you deserve in the name of Jesus. Receive the healing that you deserve any sickness that it is being managed tonight you are not going to manage it it is leaving your body right now it is leaving your system right now issues with your kidney by prayer tonight Night, uh, let there be a restoration. Uh, let there be a restoration. Uh, we speak, oh God, uh, by prayer. Let God heal somebody. Thank you, Jesus.
last week we have started a teaching and we've been talking about the anointing and the need to be anointed the anointing and the need what it means to be anointed you want to continue say that i am anointed of the lord say that i am anointed of the lord i am anointed you ca- you carry the anointing of god you haven't been to a place where the anointing is so strong that you are coming and people are running away mm. that is the place that you are going that is you are Jesus. going deep in the anointing Say that I am anointed of the Lord. I am anointed of the Lord. Say a wadding was a woman so. Psalm 105, the verse 15. Psalm 105, the verse 15. I love this. Let's hear the word of God. Mm. 10515. Mm. Do not touch my anointed ones. Mm-hmm. Do my prophets no harm. Take it again. Do not touch my anointed ones. Do my prophets no harm. What it means to be the anointed of God. Mm. Last week we said that anointing is a symbolic for higher calling. It is a symbolic for the empowerment from Elohim. It is it is stands in for the protection and the blessing of God. And any time the anointing touches you, it moves you from your state of ordinariness into a state of extraordinary. The anointing can stand for the spirit of God. And we said last week that Jesus even waited for him to be anointed before his ministry began. In the book of Acts. So understand that at every point and at every level, we need the anointing of God. The anointing comes so that we can fulfill the ministry that God has called us to. And every level and the devil that it attracts. So at every level, you need that level's anointing to operate. I am taking it again. I said that at every level and the anointing that you need to operate. You need the anointing to sow on a higher altitude. That is the reason why I said that. Say to yourself that I am the anointed of God. You are anointed of God. So in the Old Testament, anointing or the oil was being used to rub or smear on animals. So that incense cannot bite them or kill them or do anything. When the incense touched their skin, they will, it will fail. So the anointing served as a means of protection. So anytime you are operating in the anointing of God, you are walking in the supernatural protection of God. consecrate to dedicate we use the anointing to dedicate temples uh, to empower men of God for ministry and what have you so understand that you need anointing of God in this time and day that we are because these days are very scary these days are very what scary 
said how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with power and of the Holy Ghost you see God anointed with power and the Holy Spirit and everything that Jesus did was as a result of the anointing that was upon him so even if Jesus was anointed no more unless you were me so we said that anytime one is anointed your horn is elevated and what does it mean for your horn to be elevated it means that you will be planted and you'll be established in the place of authority and power are you here with me when there is no anointing you speak and people don't take it but when god exalts your horn like that of the unicorn you become a man or a woman of influence you speak and at your utterances there is always action there is a replication of god's power that is at play and that is at work when god's anointing is upon you you lay hands on the sick and the sick will be healed when the anointing of god is upon you when you step into a place of dryness because the oil is so strong you become fruitful even in the land that is not fruitful tonight i want to take it again that what it means to be anointed is that anytime you become anointed you become untouchable I said that any time you become the anointed of God, you become what? Untouchable. The devil can't touch your family because you are anointed of the Lord. Yes, Lord. Nobody can destroy your business because you are anointed of the Lord. So David said, David said, in the book of Psalm chapter number 105, the verse 15. Touch not my anointed. The word touch it means that you are you 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 are you are deliberately and intentionally doing something to block what God is doing. When someone touch you, you feel it. When someone touch you, you experience it. So David said that touch not my anointed. So anytime you become the anointed of the Lord, you become untouchable. Say I am untouchable. untouchable. My children are untouchable. untouchable. The church is untouchable. Church is untouchable. My wife is untouchable. Wife is untouchable. My father is untouchable. untouchable. My 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 husband is untouchable. untouchable. My children are untouchable. untouchable. My business is untouchable. Business is untouchable. The nation is untouchable. The nation is untouchable. Because of the anointing. Of the Talking about the, 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 the need to be anointed. First Samuel chapter number 24. First Samuel chapter number 24. Let's read from the verse 5. The verse 5. Afterward, David was concerned striking for having cut off a corner of his robe he said to his men the lord forbid that i should do such a thing to my master the lord's anointed or lay my hand on him for he is the anointed of the lord hold on there the word anointed appeared what twice this one free of charge kill him let it let, let, let us go do something to him i mean he wants to kill you and this person is lying down there do something and david understood the principle 
of knowing that any time he touches God's anointed, he's always all going to be touched. So anytime the oil of God is upon your life, you become very scary. People can't touch you. Satan himself is afraid. In as much as so being driven or being taken away, the power of him being a king of God's people, Israel, and the spirit of God departing, yet the anointing was still there. He was down, but still the anointing was still there. He was he was being influenced and his mind was full of wickedness. But he has to understand the anointing was still there. The anointing was still there. So David and his men came to understand. That if we should touch him, our ministry has ended. Our kingdom has ended. Our kingship has ended. So say that I will not do such a thing to the Lord's anointed. Tonight I pray in the name of Jesus. I said tonight I pray in the name of Jesus. Tonight I pray in the name of Jesus. That you become untouchable. In the name of Jesus. He said that the Lord forbade that I should do such a thing to my master, the Lord's anointed, or lay my hands on him. For he is the anointed of word of the Lord. Touch not my anointed and do my prophet. The key word there is. Touch not. Touch not. Touch not. Touch not. I pray that as you hear me, wherever that you are, because of the anointing, may God project you to be untouchable. Amen. Amen. The devil is always not happy when things are going on well. When you succeed in every venture, when your marriage is is so blossom, when your children are doing so well, that is the time that you need to even cry and say, "Lord, I need help. Let your anointing cause us to be what untouchable." What it means to be untouchable is that. There becomes invisible covering and a shield of protection. I'm taking it again. Invisible covering. God covers you and the enemy cannot locate you where you are. There is going to be a blind spot and there is going to be a maze whereby they cannot see and even locate you to harm you. And there becomes a shield of protection. Tonight I pray for the invisible covering upon your life. I pray for the invisible covering up upon your household. I pray for the invisible covering of the most high God upon the church. Anybody in our community, in our nation, anybody listening to me right now, I pray for the uh, 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 the invisible covering and the shield of protection uh, that will cause you to be untouchable. Say, Lord, I am untouchable. Lord, I am untouchable. The invisible, the invisible covering. you become hidden you see you are hidden under the pavilion of god when you are visible it means that people will see you but when it becomes invisible you are doing so well but they cannot see you i pray that your business will not be untouchable in the name of jesus Nobody that have set their eyes on you to destroy you, to speak ill of you, to do everything.
everything possible to bring you down i pray for the invisible covering of god i pray for the invisible covering of god upon your life and upon your children shout i am untouchable i am untouchable So he said that I will not do such a thing to the Lord's anointed. And the normal circumstances, his kinship, so kinship is gone. Everything that he have now it is jealousy, mm. anger, mm. hatred, and what have you? What will you do? I'm asking you. What will you do when um, when 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 they bring somebody and tell you that this is the person that is doing you? Mm. Let me speak. Let me let me. This is the person that is doing you. This is the person that is doing you. What will you do? But David descend into the realms of the spirit. He said that as soon as I touch him, I have also touched myself. Therefore, you shouldn't touch the other so that they also know they will touch you. There's too many confusion, too many backbiting. Too many hatred, too many jealousy. We got to celebrate successes. We got to be there for one another. He said that I will not do such a thing to the lost anointed. Touch not my anointed. You are the anointed of the Lord. Amen. Tonight I said that you are the anointed of the Lord. Amen. You are the anointed of the Lord. Amen. I said last week that we increase, we grow in his anointed by connecting in this in the presence of God, connecting to his word and connecting to prayer. The next thing for us to know and understand is that God always show mercy to his anointed. You become untouchable and God shows mercy. Somebody say, Lord, I need your mercy. Lord, I need your mercy. Psalm 18, the verse 15. Psalm chapter number 18, the verse 15. God always show mercy to his anointed. So God will show you mercy tonight. Mercy is when you 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 didn't deserve it all. Mm. I mean, you didn't work for it all. Mm. You didn't struggle for it all, and you just pray, Lord, I need your mercy. Mm. In your brokenness and in your good heart, you just went before God, and the Lord showed you kindness and mercy. The Lord shows mercy to His anointed. So there is the need for you to be anointed of the Lord. Yes, Talking about anointing. That's what Last week was so powerful, right? This Sunday was so, something else. Mm. I, 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 I see, I see, I see another move of yes. the Holy Ghost. Yes. This Sunday, I see another move yes. of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Man, God is doing something at Christ Center of Hope. My goodness. Child, that is an I mean, pure presence of God. Mm. Anointing. Yes. I mean, things are knocking things. You will not come there and live the same. No. Psalm chapter number 18. Let's hear the word of God. 18, 15. Mm. The valleys of the sea were exposed and the foundations of the earth laid bare at your rebuke, Lord. The verse 18, the verse 50. 18, verse 50. 50, yeah. 5 zero. Mm -hmm. He gives his king great victories. He shows unfailing love to his anointed, to David and to his descendants forever. The other version said that he shows what mercy to his anointed. Take it again. He gives his king great victories. He shows unfailing love to his anointed, to David and to his descendants forever. 
so when you become anointed you experience the mercy of god and it go further to your descendants when you become the anointed of the lord god shows you mercy not only to you alone but it goes for generation after generation oh jesus i i feel something within me can i release it can i release it yes can i release it tonight yes. by prayer Prayer. and in the authority of his word in the name of jesus. may you experience victory in whatever that you do in the name of jesus. may you be successful in mm. whatever that you do i pray tonight mm. that you will be anointed and experience the loving kindness of god upon your life uh, and the loving kindness of god upon your house uh, and the loving kindness upon your descendants put your hands on your head and say god i need your anointing than never before god, I need your anointing put your hands on your head and say god cry for help cry to the lord for his anointing there are so many things that we need to operate in the realms of god's anointing and his spirit i mean the anointing stuff for his spirit when the anointing of god is upon your life you experience the mercy the loving kindness the favor of god and not only you but to your descendants your children your husband your grandchildren your great great grandchildren your uncle your nieces anybody that is connected to your bloodline i pray in the name of jesus the son of the living god uh, that you experience mercy from the lord uh, you experience his goodness uh, this month this week this year you will experience the anointing than never before in your singing ministry let anointing be extraordinary in your preaching ministry in your evangelism ministry anything that you do uh, let the anointing of god uh, bring you to a place of mercy bring you to a place of loving kindness uh, in the name of jesus oh jesus can god speak into your life right now put your hands on your head ah put your hands on your head say god i receive your anointing god, than, more you than before I, I, I need your army cry for help cry for help cry for help thank you holy spirit thank you lord we, he said that and he shows mercy to his anointed loving kindness and what their descendants i was studying and god dropped this in my spirit that the reason why we live a life of loneliness the reason why we live a life of emptiness the reason why it seems like we are walking on a dry land is because the anointing of god is not at work put your hands on your head say god i need your anointing say lord i need your anointing in, in my marriage i need your anointing see there are some pressure you need the anointing to stand that pressure forget about the things that you are going through and cry for the anointing when the anointing is at work it will roll away every burden thank you holy spirit 
Let's talk to God right now. Let's talk to God for about two minutes. We, our time is up. Let's talk to God for about two minutes. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice. Say, God, I need your anointing. I need your anointing. I need your mercy. I pray that I will be untouchable. Lift up your voice. Pray. Combine these two prayers. Up. Mercy cause me to be untouchable. Mercy, Lord, make a bro. Zirabakon de ligaba. Lebre zibri andus kulabatosaka. Lebe lebe zuramakata. Tayabron de Lemoskuta, Le Badikita Labacolem in the Atayakosa, Jebelema Andurubo Sundiria Bacado Sika, Jebele Karama Kundilia Malusu Karaba Telebe, Makata Yabaco Sukula Bacatayaba, Jemele Keraba Kulibita Yabacolebe Cataliate, Sabacala Malusundura Bacole Telebecati, Jebalos Rama Catayabro Letaya, Aleta Mamu. I lay my hands, I put up my hands upon my head. I need your oil of God in this calling. Moro I don't want to use my strength, I don't want to use my energy. I pray for the supernatural anointing, I pray for the mercy that comes with your anointing, I pray for the favor that comes with your anointing. I speak in the name of Jesus tonight that my ministry will not lack oil. Rabakus in delebera katosa, lema andi libro oskutura bakatusa, zebede ramatusa brande lebro zibaka, lebro zabarosa badiata raba, lebaros kibria balusa bakora bate, mandi bro zabaliata raba. You are praying that God cause me to be untouchable. Lord, cause me to be untouchable in the name of Jesus because of the anointing, Father. I pray that I will be untouchable in the name of Jesus Rose no weapon Rosaba wait form against me shall ever stand and prosper Rama and Dolobo Zundiriki Rabatosi Lama and Delebro Zukarabaka Lebadus Kibri Abaro Zibri Abate Yes Lord Yes Lord Yes Lord Lebro Zabaria Tarabaros Kibri Aba Lebadu Zabaria Terebro Rabacosa, Yepadia Tadabaria, Rabaraba, Labacos, Sabadia Tadabalus, Hibriaba, Lepadu Sabadia Tadabalus, Sibriaba, Lekadia Tadabalus, Sibriabacosa, Yes, Lord, Yes, Lord, Yes, Lord, Leba, Recabarus, Hibriaba Terebe, Lama Antula Baros, Sabacate, Saba, Lepadia Tadabalus, Umbro Ondolobo Suba, Lekerebe, Rama and Delebo Zurabaka Zebadia Tadaba Lusaba. You are the anointed of the Lord. And Delebe Zurabako Zabadia Tadaba. You are the anointed of the Lord. You are the anointed of the Lord. Spirit of God. Lebro Zibri Akataya Balusa. From today, understand that you are the anointed of the Lord, and the Spirit of God is inside of you. Therefore, you are walking with His mercy and loving kindness, and you are untouchable. Your manager cannot touch you, nobody can fire you when you are doing what is right at that workplace. I pray that nobody will touch your finances. Nobody will cut your dreams off. Nobody will take off your children out of your hands. By prayer, I stand as the apostle of God. And I declare over the entire Ghanaian community, our Nigerian community, our African community. That may the mercy of the Lord dwell among us. And I pray tonight that you are untouchable everything that you will do will be under the invisible covering of god and you will walk in the shield of his protection you are blessed and highly favored god bless you god bless you god bless you Oh, yeah, me, I'm a 
Greetings to Dr. Lee Ford, Christ Center of Hope Assemblies of God, Chicago. God bless you, Mama Joyce, Reverend Joyce Bohen. Wow. That's my spiritual apostle father. Very humble, very anointed man of God. God is using him in Chicago marvelously. I salute you, man of God. God bless you wherever that you are. Those of you watching us, those of you listening to us, I love you with the love of God. Know that we are always praying with you. You are part of our prayers. Don't give up on yourself. For God has not given up on you yet. Keep on trusting him. Keep on believing in him. And he will do it. My regards to Mr. Acho Igwe Ife. God bless you, man of God. God bless you, Pastor John Awule. God bless you, my sister Linda. Pastor Kensley, God bless you, Ophelia. God bless you, Mrs. Apia Minka. God bless you, Elder Deborah. God bless you, Mama Joy J. Mama Georgina. God bless you, Joanna. God bless you. I see you right there. God bless you, Nana Boachi. Here, don't will come and support. God bless you, Dani Ajede, all the way from Ghana. Wow. God bless you, my sister Raquel, my colleague. God bless you, Afia Boadate. God bless you, Cecilia. I'm praying with you for Jenny kindness. God bless you, Mama Becky Otimensa. Grace, peace be with you. God bless you, Pastor Fredika. God bless you, Pastor Edmond Kwachi. God bless you, my sister, Minister Abnasechi. Wow. God bless you, DJ Omari. God bless you, Asantua Donko, Mrs. Asantua Donko, all the way from Maryland. Joyce, how is the baby doing? All the way from Houston. My sister Amma Ampon Sadako. She's in Dallas here with us. God bless you so much. I drew up in a man. Wow, the names keep coming. Mr. Joe Jared. Miss Patricia Mate. Oh, my music director, Ben. God bless you, Benedicta. Nade de Ai. This is Patricia Numo, God bless you. Mama Lebechi, Miss Gladys, Reverend Makasanti Menu, Anna Clue, wow, God bless you. Richard Lano, my officer, immigrations, and Mrs. Gloria Ajima. I mean, I can't mention the names. God bless you, Mr. Ansa. Pastor Daniel Ansa. Hallelujah. One of these days we'll lay hands and we'll anoint you and we'll call you into the, the apostleship. Hallelujah. Tomorrow we're going to have miracle service at Christ Center of Hope Assemblies of God from 7 to 9. I'm excited for tomorrow's service because God is doing miracles. Sunday, we have our service from 9.30 a.m. Exactly 12.30, we are done and we have closed. Our services are spirit-filled and power-packed. The anointing of God is at work. So if you live in the community and you don't have any definite place of worship, I want to invite you to join us, be part of us, come grow with us. From every culture, it is, it, it is a multi-culture church. We have people from Cameroon, Kenya, Nigeria, Liberia, Ghana, Trinidad and Tobacco. You can think of it. It is a multi-culture church. So when you come, you have a place to worship God in a free environment and serve God. The address is going to be 9560 Skillman Street, suite number 117. 
Dallas, Texas, 75243. In case you want to reach us by phone, the number is 972-750-1636. We are out of here. God bless you. See you tomorrow at 7 p.m. See you on Sunday, 9.30 a.m. God be with you. Shalom. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah.